Chief Executive Officer Tommy Jean Mitchell. Today we're going to be talking about company payroll with Square and online retail management. Today I'm sharing some information about payroll for my company and how I manage my payroll for my employees and my through through um that is new hires of my company so um i shared a video previously talking about um how you hire actually hire new employees um to your company um using um department of workforce development and this right here is a video on uh payroll which we use square payroll just starting out, they have a lot of other payroll services like Gusto Online and stuff like that. But today we're talking about Square Payroll, um, which is pretty convenient for me um, in my business. It, it, it was pretty easy to set up and stuff like that. So um, we're here on the, on the um, first part, um, the actual homepage of the app. Um, so welcome to Square Payroll. Um, I actually added my um, new and new hires already, so that's checked off. Um, and um, for for anybody that's new to my channel and new to my videos, um, this is Tommy G Mitchell. I am a company um, owner. Um, I own a for-profit domestic corporation right here in Indianapolis, Indiana, and I'm sharing some information um, about how to successfully do your payroll with Square Payroll. So, um, as you can see, everything's pretty much set up. Um, the last step is to link my bank account, which you can link um, pretty much any account just to pay your employees and stuff like that. Um, payroll bank account, um, link bank, um, link instantly. Um, um, me, um, I'm going to be setting up my routing and my account numbers to my new bank um, because I've switched banks and stuff so um, to a business bank but um, I, 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 I um, usually I use PayPal um, or um, Chime I mean you can use any bank accounts you know Green Dot you can use any bank bank accounts but um, for this I'm going to be linking the US bank to it um, so but anyways we're going to um, talk to you about um, the actual time cards payroll reports and how to actually log in and for your shift um, because as you know I am the chief executive officer that's registered as a new hire inside of my company and um, I was actually talking to the Secretary of State and um, for some information on you know how to get back into my DWD portal Department of Workforce so in order for me to do that and register more new hires because I'm actually a W-2 worker inside of my company too um, I would need to do my first payroll so here this is basically time cards of me um, of when when you would add a shift um, to your time card and um, basically specify the name specify the location that you're working at um, specify the hourly rate um, changes to the hourly rate clock in um, date time breaks um, which is pretty pretty cool for an app um, summary of hours unpaid breaks etc total paid hours um, so that would be for new shift um, and we're going to talk to you a little bit about what I manage as a CEO um, um, right now I'm actually in my home business um, and you know I'm just sharing this information because you know a lot of people um, um, they, they weren't familiar with how 
you, you know, you actually register as a new hire um, for anybody that wants to actually work for my company. I post applications on in, Indeed. Um, so you can log on to Indeed, search for my company and grab an application, fill it out and um, I'll take a look at it. Um, but anyway, um, back to time cards. So this is how you do a time card. Um, now we're going to payroll team. So right now, as you can see, add member, me, my name, I'm the only um I'm the only employee that works for my company right now, but that's subject to change. So this is my employer information, employment type, um, which you can specify. Um, you, you actually do this inside of the address, which is my principal address of my company. Um, information about tax filings and W-2s. Um, basically when square um, um, processes w2s um, job title uh, um, hourly rate to pay commission um, and tracking method pay time off um, I mean square payroll basically describes a lot so here is important point of sale um, um, for you to actually log in, in into um, Square Square um, sh um, Stripe because I actually use do most of my payroll and um, collect most of my money. So in Square, this is actually Square Payroll, but in Square Stripe, um, regular Square Point of Sale, um, it is which I'm gonna go to it for you. Um, but we're, we're going to we're going to show you what I manage in which I work here as a CEO. It, um, shares a lot of information about Go Rider Records Incorporated, uh, which is my company. Um, and we are a rap. I, 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 this is an actual music group um, that I started back in 2017. And um, I'm just hoping to just just managing my website, editing it. Um, and stuff like that so um, it's not much because I'm actually in construction I've been doing a lot of other work you know what I'm saying so I don't have much time to spend on my website but um, I'm going to be adding a lot more um, a lot more to it in, in um, the future um, just basically listing um, shows, events, live streams, and stuff, and, and stuff like that. And it's easy. Um, I got my website through GoDaddy, um, and um, it, it doesn't cost that much a month, but but it it's not free. So, um, but that's just the cost of managing. You know, it's always investment costs. It's always you know a bunch of other costs with um, with doing business online. So. Um, this is basically an online website and um, hoping to do more with it so um, if you guys like this video make sure you subscribe and um, make sure you um, visit my channel um, send me a message if you have any questions um, and um, you know and I hope this video helped.